Hey, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel in the Notaro 1122. All right, so Leo, yeah, we're going to do another one for you. Um, I was going to do Cancer or Aries. I got too much drama going on. I'm not feeling that. Let's, let's see what we got going on today. Let's see what's going on with Leo today. Oh, my God, Leo, we've had it pretty sweet for the last, what? Last week or two. I'm I'm loving it. Enjoying it. As a matter of fact, full of peace, joy, laughter. I mean, just what? Loving this. All right. All right. So seeing increases in everything. Love it. Let's see. Give me messages for Leo, please. And thank you. What does Leo need to know? What's coming towards us? Please keep the crazy people away. All right. Because that other reading was like, oh, my God. All right. So we got some thoughts here. The courthouse. There may be some court decisions going on here. Or somebody's thinking about you. Why is poverty here? Mm -mm. All right, Leo. We're not going to start this. We got the main male here. Your main man. Uh, I want to take one more. Let's see. All right, adjudication, expectation on the bottom of the deck, adjudication. So someone here may actually be going through some type of court case or there's a final decision here being made. Why? I don't know about what I don't know. Just heard what I heard, okay? Let's see. What's going on here with the main man? This could be you, could be somebody that you're dealing with here. Let's see, main man. All right, so somebody's making a decision to... Move forward, looking forward for the future. All right, waiting for the ships to come in. All right, ready to ready to, to bounce. Okay, somebody here might be ready to take off somewhere too. All right. Uh oh. <sighs> Give me one more. Actually, give me two more, please, for this main male. Somebody here, Leo, this could be you, or this could be somebody coming towards you here. This is three of wands, so it might be you. You might be dealing with somebody that has Leo in their chart. Oh, my God, why? Mm, I should have shuffled a little bit more. Let's see. Give me messages. Okay, so, Leo, are you in Hermit, or is somebody else? This could be you or another person, someone that has fire in their chart as well. All right, this could be somebody, a past person trying to make a decision here, but holding back until they figure out what it is that they want to do. Someone here might be waiting for the right time to speak up. All right, this could be family. Oh, doesn't have to be. Okay, let's see. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? All right, let's see. Give me one more. Someone's feeling some type of way because of a tower. Or either this person is getting ready to call us a tower. Let's see. Somebody's trying to figure out what's um, what's best for them. Okay, King of Pentacles, like I said, okay. Someone's confused about something, possibly about offering a cup of love to someone here that they have feelings for. Oh, Lord, somebody is manifesting a connection here. Also, somebody is really connected more with source and higher power. I love it. Okay. I see you. All right. So, Leo or Crosswatcher, whoever this is, yes, consult source before you make a decision. Absolutely. What were you supposed to learn about this tower? What do you need to do about this tower? Do you need to fix this tower or do you need to let this tower fall? Okay. I'm just saying. Somebody here is asking source, okay? There's some lessons that were learned here, too, with the page of source. Someone here may actually be keeping an eye on someone. Leo, are you watching somebody? I'm just saying. Trying to figure out what you want to do with this situation? It is what it is. Let's see. So, either someone is waiting to take action on this situation, or someone here is really letting this tower fall walking away. All right, it is what it is, closing the door, leave something behind, look forward for the future, even though feeling some type of way about this situation, lessons learned, okay? Not repeat cycles, all right? Moving on, doing things much differently, focusing on your stability here, what matters most to you, your inner peace, let's see, your well-being. Give me one more, please, and thank you. 
Yeah, see? Death and rebirth. Look at this. Brand new beginning. Ooh, look at this with the Ten of Cups. I like it. All right, so Leo, you might, and there it is, the Queen of Wands, I do believe. Is that her? It sure is. So, oh, oh my God, look at this. Oh my gosh. We got the divine counterpart. Look at that, looking at each other. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Leo, one of you guys may have recognized your other half here, okay? You may have already been dealing with this person here. You guys may have gone through some type of karmic lessons together and this situation may have fallen apart. There was a tower moment and now both are possibly in hermit mode reflecting on what happened here. Um, what this connection means to the both of you, okay? Someone here may feel like this was a missed opportunity. Now it looks like someone here wants an ending to the BS, to whatever drama you guys went through in the past and come together for a renewal here, for something stable here. Something that leads to the Ten of Cups here. This is crazy that the King and the Queen are right next to each other. That is funny. Lots of communication coming in. Very passionate, very heartfelt, okay? Honest communication coming in. It is what it is. You got to speak up. There may be some apologies given here as well. Also, someone here is confessing how they feel. I feel that you are my divine counterpart. You know what I mean? I think that both of us play games with each other. I don't want to lose this connection. I really want to see what this is and can we move on from whatever happened between us. I want to take this seriously now. Oops. Okay. What? With the lovers under that too? Wet, 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 wet. But I don't like this. <laughs> I'm just saying there could be like a lot of sexual tension between you two. You could, you guys could have like a a serious bond that is like I don't know what this is. Why do I feel this way about Leo? Leo, you might be like, how do I, why do I feel this way about this person here? Can't shake this feeling, okay? But I, I, it's here for a reason. I want to explore deeper. There has to be something going on here. This connection is too strong. All right, so somebody here is in Herman mode. Leo, this could be you. This could be your person. Take it out. It resonates. But okay, somebody recognized their divine counterpart. Look at that. Mm. You know, it's kind of funny because sometimes it does take... Take... um for you to separate, to realize what you really had or try to figure out the connection here. You understand? Sometimes it's like, what was that? And sometimes it's like, you know what, dang, that was really my person. I didn't give this person, you know, the benefit of the doubt. I really took them for granted. You know what I mean? Let me see if I can go back and do this the right way. You understand? So there's that. I don't know. Somebody's trying to follow their intuition here. What is poverty? I kind of feel like the poverty is somebody out in the cold here. I really don't feel like this is money. I feel like somebody is missing their person. All right, Six of Pentacles. Somebody was not given equally to this situation at all. Mm -hmm. And they realized that they were holding back. Now, someone is in their emotions here, in their feelings here. Not sure what to do. Kind of stuck because someone may have walked away. Look at this. Leo, is that you? Is that your person? Oh, Lord. And we got the Ten of Cups. The one to come out again with the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. Somebody wants a connection here. Somebody may already feel that you guys have were possibly spouses in another lifetime. Okay? Someone can't describe or understand the connection that you guys have. Look at this. There goes a queen. <laughs> There goes the queen. Somebody wants to talk to you, baby. Talking to you, girl. I'm just saying. It is what it is. Somebody may be talking. You guys may be conversing in the 5D. I think I said that about somebody else's reading today. Maybe that was Leo's reading. I don't know. But somebody wants a connection here. Somebody's watching. Oh, my God. The passion is strong here. Absolutely. And it looks like both of you guys are fire signs, too. Woo! Oh, my. Yeah, I'm, all right now. I almost said something I wasn't supposed to say. Anywho. <laughs> Y'all are hot. 
But one of the things that I do see, I kind of think that there may be a power struggle between you two. Um, yeah, especially with the fire sign here going on, okay? Um, there could be a power struggle here. And it's kind of like no one wants to lose. No one wants to get hurt here. So both of you feel like, you know what? I got to be in control of this because if I let you control this, you are going to wreck my life. The other person is like, no, I got to be in control here because if I let you in control, you're going to hurt my heart. And I know I'm never going to look at love the same. Probably won't want to ever love anybody again. So I have to keep control of this, sweetheart. Both of you need to con release control issues and allow each other to just be. You understand? Love on each other. Accept each other's flaws and all. You know, you know what I mean? Learn to compromise and work things out instead of push and pull. All right? Also, there may be other interests here. Okay? So there's that. There's a need to have patience in this situation as well. Patience with each other and also patience for this to come back together. Yeah, somebody wants to reach out and talk here. They want the four ones. Look at this. I love it. I love it. Somebody has watched long enough to know that they want to actually give this a try, okay? Um, for someone here too, Leo, this might be you. It could be your person. Someone here may have, you know, for instance, Leo, run into you. Saw your personality. No, nah, Leo couldn't really be like that. Leo's not really loyal like that. Leo's not like this. No, nah, that couldn't be. Leo's wearing a false mask. I kind of think that this person really sees after dealing with you for a while that you haven't changed. This is who you are. You know what I mean? You, you, you 100, you, you keep it real, you know what I'm saying? So you're not playing games with this person. And I think they feel that they can be safe with you. You know what I'm saying? If you guys can get on one accord and stop the, it's got to be my way. No, it's got to be my way. You know what I'm saying? There's that. So somebody feels that there's a higher level of connection with you already outside of marriage and all this other stuff. You guys have a spiritual bond here. All right. So what's the courthouse here? Y'all going to run to the courthouse and get married. <laughs> you better wait. All right. Somebody's trying to make a decision here because they know it's going to be a lot of work, a lot of effort um, to bring this back together, especially if this is already falling apart. Someone here is having sleepless nights, a little bit of stress, anxiety, worry, um, wondering if they should really let it go. But for some reason, something is pulling them back. Um to this situation, you know, there was probably no uh, closure, no conclusion or whatever. You know, you guys just kind of like fell off here. All right. Yeah. Both of you guys are single. Coming up as the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups with the empress here. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I like it. I like it. So it looks like you and your person are really equally yoked. You know what I mean? Both of you guys are go-getters. Especially if, you know, come on now, if both of you guys have fire in your chart, Leo, now you already know we, we on the go all the time. At least this Leo is, you know what I mean? And one thing about me, I don't like lazy people. You understand? If you lazy, I'm already like, yeah, that ain't going to work. Because one thing about me, I am not lazy. All right. So, yeah, that passion, that fire, that drive, that go-getter mentality, that go-getter attitude. You know what I'm saying? We work. We do a lot of things. We're very creative and we need somebody that matches that, that vibe here. You know what I mean? Someone that compliments that. Doesn't mean that this person's got to go, 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 go like you do. But like I said, you know, that creative spark, you know, you like somebody that, you know, it's about their business. It is what it is. OK, so someone does want to come towards you, but I think they're stuck making a decision here. Also, someone here. Hmm, someone here may have been divorced or maybe getting a divorce. Maybe this person is carrying some type of burden that you don't know, which is really crazy because. I just split the deck. Justice is here. We got the Ten of Wands. This is something that this person has been carrying, something that they probably haven't told you about. And with courthouse adjudication, and you got this couple standing here as well, um, there could be a divorce here or a separation for someone here, okay? 
Maybe this is someone that has been married before, but it's not stopping them from coming to get you. Oops. All right, so let's see. Are you going after your person? There's a lot of fire in this reading. I'm just saying, Leo, look, you're showing up again and again and again and again. Okay, so there's that. Somebody here is trying to make a decision, like I said, sweetheart, but they got to walk away from something. All right, something that's keeping them tied down, stuck. Someone is like, you know what? I see what I want. Leo's right there. I want to go get Leo, but I got this situation over here. Hmm. All right. Now, if they're not in a situation already, um, this could be fear of what happened in their past connections here, sweetheart. Someone here may be hesitant to move forward in a, in a new relationship because of what happened in the past. Okay. Uh, this person is reflecting on what happened in the past, learning some lessons here as well. This person does feel like they are out in the cold as well, you know? Like something is missing here. You two might fit together like a, a well put together pl a puzzle, you understand? But that hesitation, you know? Has this person like, I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if this is going to work. Maybe this person was married before or in a connection with someone that was a bit of a tyrant that, you know, basically wanted to keep this person on a leash. Where are you going? What you doing? What time are you coming back? And blah, blah, blah. Wouldn't allow this person to coexist in a relationship. You know what I mean? So they probably had someone that, you know, had a tight grip on them. And this person is possibly, you know, single and enjoying that, that freedom, that breathing room. Trust me, I get it. I get it. You know what I mean? Because me personally, I think, yeah, being in a relationship is real cool. You know, you do things together as a unit. However, we are still individuals, you know, with our individual dreams, goals, desires, and things like that. And if you have someone in your life that, you know, is cool with you having, you know, your own little thing to the side and, you know, helps you with your projects or whatever, you know, and um, cheers you on, you know, and you cheer that person on, man, come on, that's the best of both worlds. You know what I mean? You get to be, you know, who you were meant to be. And also you get to be someone that you were meant to be with this person as well. You know, I don't know. That's just me. It is what it is, okay? But like I said, somebody here knows it's going to take a lot of work and effort, especially if you two are on the outs and they're trying to make a decision to come towards you, okay? But having to leave other things behind, yes. Leave the regret behind, okay? Pick up that cup, that new cup. You got some new love coming for you, sweetheart. You got somebody that wants to love on you, that is determined to have, you know, a successful relationship. You, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So, yes, look at this. Look at this. What you want wants you. The Ten of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Four of Wands. Look at that. I love it. Beautiful. Go get your person, Leo. All right, cross watcher, go get your person. All right, you don't come across this every day. There's a lot of love here, a lot of deep love that somebody is holding back, not expressing. Leo, is that you? Are you shy to tell your person? <laughs> Are you keeping it to yourself, Leo? Mm, I know you are. Ooh, look at this. Oh, that's a cold one right there. Is that secret desire? Is that obsession? What is that? Oh, my. I like it in this instance. Oh, my. Okay, so there's that. All right, so adjudication. What is this? Adjudication. Somebody is about to tell you the truth, sweetheart. There's some communication here. All right. Um, be patient with this person. All right. This person wants to bring balance into this situation. They may contact you online here as well. But yeah, some deep communication coming in. This person means exactly what they say. All right. I like it. <laughs> All right. Mm. And look who's there, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's there, your divine counterpart. Absolutely. This person is coming in, you know, with, you know, little tokens. Hey, can we get back to talking terms? You know, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I really like to move this forward and let's take our time here. Let's really get to know each other, you know, because you may not know this person as well as you think you do, because I think this person was hiding a lot of their, um, a lot of aspects 
um, of their personality. And I honestly think that you're drawn to this person in the first place because you, you feel what they're hiding. You know they're hiding stuff from you, sweetheart. But that attraction that you have, it complements it complements your fire as well, okay? So there's that. Oh, my goodness. Both of you little smoldering people, you. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Coming in slow. Mm-hmm. I like it. Take your time. Got a lot of love here, but not really expressing it. Aw, this is so sweet. Whoever this is, congratulations. I hope this works out well for you guys, okay? Let's see. Communication coming here. Somebody's seriously trying to make a decision. Do I tell Leo? Is it going to end badly? Okay. Not only that, do I tell Leo the things that I've gone through in the past? Will they be receptive? Will Leo understand? Will Leo judge me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is what it is. I know Leo likes to move a little fast. I do too in certain areas. But when it comes to giving my heart, I'm slow. This person is slow. I got to get to know you first. Let's see. I'm quick to leave you behind. You understand? It is what it is. I get it. I get it, cross watcher. You're holding back, sweetheart. But I'm going to tell you one thing. If you don't let Leo know that you got feelings for Leo, do you know Leo will pick up their things and leave? That that part right there, you might too. But I'm going to just tell you that. Leo will be up out of this situation. You better a closed mouth. Don't get fed, baby. You better speak. Tell Leo what you want. And hey, I'm here. I'm interested. I just want to take my time in this thing. I'm loyal. I'm I'm here for you. But this is what's happened to me in the past. Okay. I'm still healing from this. Okay. But I see value in this connection here. I want us to move forward. All right. Stress alleviated. Have fun. Enjoy each other. You understand? Be open and honest up front and communicate. That's the key. All right. It is what it is. And learn each other. Hell, you never know. You guys really might like each other, okay? You gotta, yeah, somebody's closed off here. Somebody, oh my God, somebody's closed off. Somebody is guarded here. And they're still healing from situations or there's a need to heal. It looks like somebody, this connection, whatever this, um, whatever happened between you and this person, I think this was a very deep and intense connection here. And I honestly think the connection that you have with this person has this person really going within, um, looking at things from a different perspective, realizing that, yeah, you can have someone that really loves you and wants equal give and take and balance, somebody that's not going to take advantage of you, somebody that doesn't look at you like just a paycheck or somebody that doesn't look at you like you're just somebody just to lay down with and you're not worth anything else, okay? Okay. So, yeah, I think that um, someone is having a battle of the mind right about now. I'm not sure if they can trust this. Not sure if they should take the leap of faith on this situation. So someone here is taking their old sweet time and guarded as I don't know what. Okay, protecting their space, protecting their energy. Trust me, I get it. But the thing is, is that, sweetheart, I'm going to tell you something. First of all, what I would do is pray about this situation. Mm. Pray about it. Ask Source to drop some diamonds on you. Ask Source to reveal this person to you. If it's not good for you, ask Source to take it from you. You'll start noticing roadblocks popping up everywhere. Danger. You know what I'm saying? Caution. Exit. Exit. You know what I mean? So there's that. The thing is, is that you have to pay attention to the signs. But give it a genuine effort here. Of course, if you're not coming in A100, somebody else is going to feel that energy. Somebody that's really into you is going to feel that resistance and go, oh, shoot, I can't trust this situation because so-and-so isn't giving me all, you know, letting me in. So there must be a reason why I need to kind of hold back. So therefore, it kind of seems like there's a real resistance between you two because nobody is really giving equally to the situation, Okay. All right, so look at it from a different perspective. You may be, you know, considering contacting this person or maybe expecting to hear from this person. What is Leo expecting? What is its expectation? <laughs> oh, okay. So, Leo, if this person comes back towards you, if this person comes back towards you, you are expecting to cut this person off because you feel like this person wants to juggle you 
or they're indecisive about you, okay? We don't do this as indecisiveness about the Leo, okay? Either you're doing this, either we're doing this, or either we're not, okay? If we're not doing this, cool. I'm still going to love on me. You understand? Walk away from this. I got me, period. It is what it is. He'll move on to someone else, all right? We don't want no place warmers, no seat warmers, sweetheart. If we're not doing this, move your behind up out the way so somebody else can. It is what it is. Life is too short, and we don't know when our expiration date is. So, sweetheart, we're trying to run all these blessings that we can while we can, okay? Woo, yeah. Like I said, someone here is trying to use their intuition. They're not saying anything. They're holding back right now. But they want to take this leap of faith, but not sure, stuck. This is a, see, this is what I'm talking about. This energy right here, indecisive, wishy-washy, all over the place. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Me personally, I'd rather walk away from this whole situation than to have someone say, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Well, check this out. Now you know. Deuces. All right? Period. It is what it is. So that's just me. I get impatient. Hmm. Don't have time for fickleness. Don't have time for the drama. And, and yeah, all of that. We're not doing that. That's what we're not going to do, right? All right. So, with that being said. Hmm. Dare I? Do I want to ask this question? What's the outcome of this situation? There's a lot of lot of potential here, but we can't fall in love with potential. Okay, there's a moon. Some something's about to be expressed. What someone was holding back, they are gonna end up opening their mouth and saying, Okay, emotions are running high right now. All right, this is kind of like a face-off right here. Okay, somebody's being very strategic on how to come towards this two of cups. About ready to take a leap of faith, but the way that they're gonna do it is <laughs> somebody is trying to do this very safely. All right, this person has a lot of love, but they're not expressing it. They're working their way up to saying something here. Ooh, yeah, somebody's feelings is hurt from the past, but they want this two of cups, and they're ready to take this leap of faith with the fool. Somebody's ready to express their feelings. Clarify the moon. Queen of Swords, somebody's coming in to speak. The Queen of Swords is going to speak her mind. Straight up no chaser, and she's going to listen. Straight up no chaser. Look at this. Communication coming in. This is what I want with you. The four of wands. All right. All BS aside, all games aside. Yep, we want forward movement. We want forward movement. Someone here might get communication online. Like I said, somebody's making a decision to come towards you, sweetheart. Or you're making a decision to come towards somebody else. Slow as I don't know what. But they feel that this connection will make them happy. So guess what? They want to talk. Let's talk. Can we talk? Yep. Waiting for the right moment. Waiting for the time to come in before they can move towards for you. Move towards you. Okay. That was not English that just came out. Y'all got to forgive me. I'm tired. I'm tired, boss. All right, this person wants to avoid conflict as well. I honestly think that this person is having mental conflict here. <laughs> they want to step forward, but the Five of Wands is here. Five of Wands, Five of Swords is here. Yeah, okay. One to come towards you, one to four of Wands, one to invest, but confused. What are you going to, why are you confused? Having sleepless nights about this, sweetheart. Leo, is this you? You know we usually say what we want, right? You know we usually speak up. Is this you? You being shy? Yeah. I swear you're dealing with another fire sign. We got the Queen of Wands here and also the Sun. Somebody knows that they'll be happy in this connection. They know what they want. They want to go after it. It is what it is. Somebody wants to open up and speak. All right? So, Leo, it looks like you got a lot of communication coming in with this person. Looks like somebody wants to take the effort. They do want to go slow. They are focusing on healing themselves and this connection as well, okay? So, yeah, somebody definitely wants to take action here. All right, Leo, I'm leaving because, yeah, this is...
I don't know what to do about this. Um, sweetheart, whoever this is right here, they need to make a decision. Leo, if this is you, you need to get up off your behind, sweetheart, okay? Stop being, you know, wishy-washy. Figure out what it is that you want. If you want this person, go get them. If you want this person, speak up, sweetheart. A closed mouth, don't get fed. You will starve to death. And you may end up walking away from somebody that actually loves you just as much, okay? Uh, you got to open up your mouth and communicate, whoever this is, okay? Hmm. If not, maybe next lifetime. All right, my loves, y'all have a good night. I will holler at y'all tomorrow. I'm going to try to do somebody's reading tomorrow morning because it ain't getting done tonight because they got stuff going on. I mean, so do we, but that wasn't all that bad. Anyway, bye.